Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Kuru Kuru Kuruin. It's been a little while uh, since I did this last one here. Uh, we are on what I believe is the last level of the game. Uh, hopefully, we'll see. We're probably not going to finish this right now. Like, let's see the map just to get a look. Okay, so we got a tight loop. Tight loop. Oh yeah, I can speed up like that. So I need to be, so I start off spinning there, uh, finish the spin, then hit the thing so I can make the tight corner there. And then I have to wait here a bit so that I can then be in the right rotation. Then I hit the spring to turn around, hit the spring to turn around, pretty straightforward. Have to keep hitting the springs to turn around. Like seriously all of these are like spring turns i have to wait there that's a tight gap right in there and that's only the first section but it shouldn't be too bad after that this looks a little bit more tricky with the balls we'll have to see what the right pacing is to get there at the proper timing uh that is the that is going to be the hard one right there to be the right timing yeah this section here it's all going to be about trying to get the right timing to just go through here in one go and also then just be the right spacing to make it there. I might need to wait here to get the timing back. So here we wait and then we go. We need to hit the spring there and head back down at the right timing. That could be tight. And that's the next checkpoint. After that, we have some cannons that we have to go in between to get this guy. That might not actually be too bad to do while... Um, doing this live we just have to be at the right spin so we come up to get that and then keep going and hopefully we'll be past the cannons before they become a problem yeah and then we just need the right spin to get in here we might want to just wait here i don't think it's worth rushing and i think we should be out of range of cannons because we want to set ourselves up to be at the right spin to go through here Oh, now how do we want to do this? So I think we might want to do it like up above, but at the same time, it's got to be up above, right? If we're doing it counterclockwise. I feel like this one is going to be a problem. Maybe not. We might just be able to like, if we get through this gap here neatly, we can just dash through before the cannons become a problem for us. And once we get to here, we need to like kind of pace ourselves to dodge this cannon and set ourselves up so our spin is all right here. Actually, we might be able to just fit through here perfectly. Like we might not, we just need to be in line with that. Because then we need to make it there and just keep dodging the cannons. What? What? Oh boy. So because of the spin, we're actually going to have to go up to the spring to get our rotation back while dodging the cannons, giving them a chance to reload and shoot us up as we make the final push. Yeah, so this will be a fun map, that's for sure. So we want to start right now. Let's see how tight this is. So this whole first section is kind of just like a warm up, you know, get used to the tight uh, gaps. Yeah, I, I kind of want to perfect this early on, so I'm not going to, you know, just, uh, I'm, I'm going to do a few early resets just to get myself back in the game. Oh, I kind of did a bump. I wonder, I wonder if I'm going to want to do like a bump early on. It might not matter though, because a lot of this can be affected sort of by uh, when you time hitting the springs, you can do that to kind of adjust your positioning. Okay, we're doing fine. It, like this is tight, but it's like in, entirely manageable. That is gonna be a problem. That spring right there, that is the trickiest part of that, I, I'm pretty sure. Everything else is just like, oh, it's, it's, it's tight, but you can do it just fine. But that is a pr bit of a problem because like the whole hitting the spring on the back swinging back yeah that that could be trouble but otherwise I'm feeling pretty good about this I'm just a little I don't know I have this this feeling that this might not actually be the final level it just feels like things have been going a bit 
too smoothly for me lately. So I have this horrible feeling that um, in doing, well, there's something that I've done uh, that I kind of did like a little bit earlier. Okay, that is pretty much it. That is pretty much what I need to do there. And my timing is a little bit off here. I might have to wait a full rotation there. But yeah, I kind of did like some of the, uh, uh, you know, like the extra little bonus stages. I was doing those as practice quite a while ago, so I've probably forgotten most of them. But there was something that happened that made me, you know, suddenly think, uh, what if there is one extra world that is going to be so much worse than this? I, I just have that feeling now that that could be the reality. So I... But I feel like it's not going to unlock unless I get a perfect on everything. And that might be part of the reason why, uh, Vice, you wanted me to do it, like, perfect 100% like this. Because then I just be... Because I might actually be the requirement for me to actually get the whole secret world at the end of it. I don't know if this secret world exists. It might not. This might actually just be, like, the f the grand finale to this. I don't think this episode will be, but we will hopefully at least finish the stage. But perfecting it is probably going to take a little bit longer. Yeah, because, I mean, the expected final stage? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a one-and-done episode. That would be ridiculous. Oh, I took too long. That was weird. Why was my timing so much different than it was before? Is that just from my timing with hitting springs earlier or something? Oh boy, that was that was an early spring, and it and it really showed. Okay. Yeah. So this section I'll probably start cutting soon because you know I've kind of got it down, and the interesting segment is going to be the stuff that's coming up. Although it is kind of nice to just have this section where I can actually talk and think before the later sections where I'm going to just be kind of rushing and panicking. So I'll probably keep some of these, but you know, similar to other stages, we're going to start doing editing things down, making it tighter. Okay. Yeah, like that was a bit different. A lot different. Holy... Okay, so I waited one extra rotation, and that made things a lot better. And then I kind of screwed things up here. So I want to wait the rotation here. I'm a little bit uh, slower than I would be normally. That's not too bad. Okay, we've got a lot of time here, honestly. I, I screwed that up a lot. Okay, that, that was our last little sibling there. So I think I'm feeling pretty good about the first two sections. Again, it's just the cannons at the end that are going to be maybe an issue. Do, 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 do. Oh, that, that, that was tight. <laughs> so many of these sections are going to feel like, oh, that feels way too tight. Okay, we timed that nicely. Oh, that was that didn't feel good at all. Okay, okay, we pulled it off. We pulled that off. Okay, okay. That's that whole section done. Ugh. You know, I could have maybe even done it this sec... This entire episode. Yeah, and then that is really... Okay, just calm. Wow. Wow, we might be done this episode, actually. That felt really close. Hi, Hyorkorin. Mom is worried about get home. I was so scared, big brother. That's all of them, right? Right? I'm home. All of my brothers are fine. Big brother, thanks. Congratulations! You beat the game! You totally did it! There's totally not going to be another section after this. 
Okay, so that was the game. I mean, we still gotta perfect this stage, but... Is there going to be a secret stage? I don't know, but... I guess I, I'm gonna give some of my thoughts already. Cause like, this is kind of like, you know, the credits. Everyone's here, everyone's happy. Yeah, I, I really do... I actually really do love this kind of game. Gameplay style. I know like early on in this series, I felt like this really sent... I really felt like I was gonna break towards the end of it, but I think there was like a certain point where the gameplay started just, you know, working a lot better for me. I don't know. Maybe when I went Zen with the with the monkeys, uh, maybe that helped me like gain a different level of gameplay to which I could handle everything else that it threw at me. I also fe found that like any sort of segment that was designed to be very tight actually worked better for me that's kind of, that's kind of a thing it's weird like there's these certain t types of like tight sections in games that i feel like i do better at than the ones where i have a bit more room to work with because it's like i can better see exact the exact path that i have to go and i'm just able to get that much better like i think it was what was it was it the sky section or the space section had a lot of that like these really tight sections yeah, this game definitely has its own charm. I'd be curious to see some of the other games on the other systems. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him go. He's hopping at the end to catch everyone else. But yeah, this game has been honestly a lot of fun. And that's been with me trying for perfection. Like, probably if I were playing this in my own time, I'd probably take it a lot more casually uh, the first time around and then go back trying to perfect everything. Yeah, so the game just ends like that. Oh. Oh, that... This is the normal end. Normal end. Very important word there. Normal end. Implies there is other ending that is better. Therefore, this is not the true ending. This is the normal ending. We are definitely going to unlock something once we complete all the challenges, all the adventure. Like, you know what? Let me just... We're going to take a break from that. I'm going to get it done sooner or later, but... Uh, yeah, so... We're going to try and complete the rest of these. And it shouldn't... Oh, yeah, like, some of these are, like, really darn easy. Like, this one... Is my thing the right size, or did it shrink? I could never tell. I could never tell with this, sometimes. Okay, I can't remember how to change the size, so we're going to assume that this is fine. Yeah, this entire section is just like, you know, you got to sprint that part. That's really it. That's literally it. Just sprint this one section and this segment is done. But yeah, so we still have the one stage. I think I'm going to save that for next episode, even though we're so close. Okay, let me just see the map here. This is... Oh yeah, this this might actually be the tricky one. Like this section right here. Yeah, this section is the one. This is the only one I think I found in practice that was really kind of tricky. Like, let's see. You have to... It's like a really weird maneuver that you have to make for this. But it's, it's definitely doable. I definitely did get it done. It's just like... It's, it feels weird. That's the only way I can really express it. This, Or maybe even better, the best way to explain it would be like when I was doing that one section speed run. That's kind of what this is like, where it's like you kind of have to like, as you're going through, you have to like maneuver up. Oh wait, no, I think I get it. I have to go through... I have to go through like that. That's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah, you can't wait until it's like already. You have to kind of go through before it reaches the horizontal. So like when it's still angled like that, you can go through. And then you have to adjust yourself like just as you're waiting. Man, I'm so close. I'm so close to this. Are you kidding me? I keep... <laughs> It's amazing. I keep doing, like, the hard part 
or what I feel like is the hard part, and then dying at the stupid easy part. Now, I'll wait a little bit longer. I kind of want to make sure that I... I don't want to do this too many times once I actually pull it off, so I want to make sure I'm not uh, low on time for finishing it. There we go. That's it. That's the maneuver right there. Like, the timing feels a bit weird, but it... It's like super doable, it's just like you have to figure it out. <laughs> I think everything else after this is pretty... pretty standard. Okay, you kind of have to rush some of these sections. Uh, so, I have a tendency to just, you know, speedrun them a little bit. Yeah, this whole speedrun here is just like in the first section. Heck, the entire thing is just a speedrun. Just speedrun the whole thing, you'll do fine. Okay, just two more of this world. Last world, I feel like, isn't much different than this one. Like, see, you have segments like this on these, uh, you know, later challenges, and it's just like, this isn't that bad. Like, this is perfectly fun. This is perfectly fine and manageable. This is just a spiral. You just have to, like, sprint a little bit. Otherwise, super, super doable, super easy. There! Level 9, already done. Let's move on to level 10. One spring. Is that it? Is that really it? Is this seriously, like, just the spring and done? Yeah, looks that way. Yeah, just super standard easy stuff. Like, that's the thing. You felt like with some of these challenge stages, they would go for something a little bit more complicated. No, a lot of these are really just, you know... Uh, <laughs> really good ways to wind down. So, like, none of them are really particularly hard. And if anything, the funny thing is, is about these last two, they don't even seem to have any of, like, the uh, special extra stuff that you would pick up in some of the later levels. Like, you don't necessarily get the cannons too much or the crushers or things. Of course, now I'm going to... I'm gonna get one that has like that and prove me entirely wrong. But gosh dang it. I could totally just speed run this from the start, can't I? Sheesh, come on. There we go. And we're done. Okay, so we have two more. Two more to go. Okay, I, I what the heck is this one? Let me just check the map really quick on it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you do have to take the spring because you can't possibly make that curve. So just go. Yeah, so we have to wait till like here, I think. Get that. It, this one is a little tight, but it's like, you know, literally the exact same sort of difficulty as most of the ones we've had here. Like, there's nothing too special about most of these. Okay, like the last one. Does this one even have anything? Yeah, so like, these last two worlds, no cannons, none of the crushers, like, none of the thing, like, you know, the special additions that made things super difficult. So it's like, you know, just ba- This is just your basics. Just maybe a little tight in subsections, but really, if you could handle, like, the early worlds you sh and do those fine, you should be fine here. The, w the only thing that they don't have is, like, the guidelines of, oh, this is the safe spot. That's, that's really the only thing about these ones. Okay. Like, that's just... Oh, man. Okay, so this one is, like, maybe a little difficult. Just in the sense that it's tight. But like I said, sometimes the tight stuff works really well for me. So we shouldn't be here too long. Okay. There we go. You just need to time your speeding perfectly. Okay, and so, as you can see, we are... Well done, I have nothing more to teach you. You should be called teacher now, congratulations. I'm Professor Hare, 
You have done a great job at beating my score. You've exceeded me in skill. So I'll give you a professor degree. Congratulations! Yay, we're now a professor, but the... Like, the whole reason I did this was... There's a level 11. So the fact that in the challenge stages there is a level 11 is what hinted me to the fact that there is probably going to be a level 11 world that unlocks after we get all the stars. That is my goal. That is my guess. Is that there is going to be a... Also, interesting thing. None of these actually have any times to them. There's no record to them. Like, uh... The hair, he hasn't done any of these ones. That's kind of a cool touch. It's kind of like... Yeah, these levels are so difficult, they are actually beyond him. <laughs> okay, but so next time, we might try those challenge levels. We're definitely going to finish this properly. We're going to get the last star on Ghost Castle, and we're going to see if there's another world after this. Or if all that's left is to finish those last five stages. Who knows? Maybe that's it. We just perfect this one, and then we're done. So, thank you all so much for watching. May you soar like the amazing Falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.